a question based on dehydration of alcohol. So here it is your dehydration of alcohol. So let us uh, see that what question is there. So we have to see question complete the following reactions. First reaction is CH3, CH2, OH. When it is treated with aluminium oxide, that is Al2O3 at 623 to 633 Kelvin. Name the product plus water molecule is there. In the second reaction, it is CH3, CH2, OH. When it is treated with 95% sulfuric acid, H2SO4, at 433 to 443 Kelvin, name the product B and water molecules. In the third reaction, it is propane to all, that is CH3, CH, OH, CH3. When it is treated with 60% sulfuric acid and 373 Kelvin temperature is there, name the product and water molecules there. In the fourth reaction, cyclohexanol is there plus that is your S3PO4 acid in presence of heat, name the product and water molecules there. In the fifth reaction, it is 2 methyl propane to all, that is CH3, C, CH3, CH3, OH, and 30% sulfuric acid and 363 Kelvin temperature, name the product and water molecules. So that is the question. Now, in the first, first of all, let us see these questions are there. This is based on dehydration of alcohol. So when dehydration of alcohol is done, it will form alkene. And this alkene formation will take place by removal of water molecule and it will be taking place in presence of acid. So in all the different cases, acid is present. This is what Lewis acid sulfuric acid, sulfuric acid and sulfuric acid and some amount of temperature is also required. Now in the first case, this is your OH group which is attached to this carbon that will be alpha carbon and that will be beta carbon. OH group from alpha carbon and hydrogen from beta carbon, it is getting removed as water molecule. So in between these two carbon, alkene formation will take place. So it will be C, double bond C, H, 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 H. So this is the product which is getting formed. So it is ethene. In the second reaction, OH group is there which is attached to this carbon that will be alpha carbon. Next to this alpha carbon that will be beta carbon. So here again dehydration reaction will take place because uh, temperature is there and acid is there. So from here uh, OH group will be getting removed and hydrogen is getting removed from this carbon. So in between these two carbon alkene formation will take place. It will be uh, your ethene. Here also ethene formation will take place. In the third reaction, same condition is there for dehydration of alcohol. So this is your OH group attached to this carbon that will be alpha carbon. So it will be your beta carbon, it will be your beta carbon. I will consider any one first. I am considering this as a beta carbon now. So hydrogen will be removed from this beta carbon and OH group will be removed from this uh, alpha carbon. So in between these two carbon, alpha and beta, double bond formation will take place. So I will be showing in this way, C, double bond C. Remaining will be as it is. Then the remaining bonds of carbon can be shown out as for this and 2, 3, 1. So hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. So this is the final product for reaction 3. Now come to the fourth one. This is what cyclohexanol. Here acid is there, heat is there. So dehydration of alcohol will take place. Now just consider this is the carbon. Uh, this is the carbon, this is the carbon. 
So this carbon is your alpha carbon because OH group is attached. And next to the alpha carbon, this is your beta carbon. I am considering this. This is also the beta carbon. Uh, here I am considering this as a beta carbon. Now, for beta carbon, hydrogen will be getting used because I, if I show the bonds of hydrogen, so two hydrogen atoms are attached to the beta carbon. So any one of the hydrogen atom is getting removed from beta carbon and one of the OH group is removed from the alpha carbon. So in between these two, double bond will be formed. So it will be a double bond here. So this is the product which is getting formed in this reaction. And in the fifth reaction, here same condition is there for dehydration of alcohol. Acid is there and heat is there. OH group is attached to this carbon that will be alpha. Now this is also a beta carbon. This is also a beta carbon and this is also a beta carbon. Any one beta carbon I have to consider. So I am considering down one. This is a beta carbon for us now. So OH will be removed from alpha carbon and any one hydrogen atom will be removed from this beta carbon. So it will be, the product will be carbon, uh, double bond, carbon, remaining will be two hydrogen atoms here and this methyl group will be as it is. So this is the product. So overall, uh, this is a question based on dehydration of alcohol that is taking place in presence of acid and little heat is required. So when dehydration happens for alcohol, there will be a removal of water molecule that is elimination of water molecule and leading to form alkene. It is also a beta elimination reaction because the hydrogen part is getting removed from beta carbon and your OH group is removed from the alpha carbon. So in between these two carbons, double bond formation will take place and according to the reactant, product is getting formed.